Welcome back, guys. Today we're going to be making coquito. You ready? You excited? Okay, let's go. We'll start off with a can of Coco Lopez coconut cream, a can of sweetened condensed milk, a can of evaporated milk, and a can of coconut milk. We also have in the back there some nutmeg. We're going to have some rum extract to go in there in case you don't want to use real rum, vanilla extract, and allspice. If you don't have allspice, then you can use ground cloves. All right, let's get started. We're, we will be pouring in a can of the coconut milk. So pour that right on in your blender. Yum. I just love coconut. Ah, I'm excited to make this, guys. It tastes so good. And trust me, you're going to love it, too. Next, we'll be adding in our can of evaporated milk. And after the evaporated milk, we'll just go on ahead there, pick up the can of sweetened condensed milk. Now guys, this is really thick and it's really sweet. So if you don't like um, too much sweet, you can just start off with the half a can and then taste as you go along and then go ahead and add in the rest of, you know, the can if you choose. So after that, we will be adding in our Coco Lopez cream of coconut and it's kind of thick there on the top so you might want to grab a spoon to just you know get the top started so that the rest will pour on in the blender real easy there and that's what I'm gonna do I had to grab a spoon guys it was just too thick on the top but look at it thick mm, creamy yum coconut okay once we get this stuff all in there Scraping down the sides of the can as you can see. I'm trying to get every last drop, guys. <laughs> Alright, after that, we will be adding in our nutmeg. Now, nutmeg is kind of strong, so you might want to go easy on the nutmeg. So, I just added in about an eighth of a teaspoon of the nutmeg into our coquito mixture. And once you get that nutmeg in there, I had to swing on around to my other counter and grab my cinnamon. And you're going to be adding in about a uh, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to be posting the recipe down at the bottom link there. So don't worry guys. You'll have the recipe. So once we get that cinnamon in there. Oh guys, cinnamon smells so good. We will be adding in our allspice. And I added about an eighth of a teaspoon of allspice. It was either an eighth or a quarter of a teaspoon um, into our coquito. So it's again, it's according to your taste. Um, you can add more, you can add less. Next, we will be adding in our rum extract. I used about a teaspoon of the rum extract. If you don't want to use the rum extract and you prefer to use the real thing, go right on ahead. Use that rum. Next, we'll be adding in our vanilla extract pure extract that is not the imitation you don't want to mess this dish up with uh, not dish but this drink with using that uh, imitation vanilla it just will not do it any justice so now we're going to place our top and we will be blending this and we're just going to blend it for about you know 40 seconds to a minute um, you just want to get everything well incorporated in there you want all those flavors to mix together so once we uh mix this all up um, we'll be taste testing it to see if I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the can of our sweetened condensed milk now guys this coquito drink is a traditional Latin drink especially in Puerto Rico where um, people normally make it around Christmas holidays especially um, in my husband's family they're Puerto Rican so they actually celebrate um, Christmas Eve so guys, you have to have to make this around the holidays to serve it up. It is one of the best drinks ever. And it's very, very similar, believe it or not, to um, our American eggnog. Um, Coquito, normally um, some people will put eggs in it, but I just chose to go the non-egg route. Um, I just don't feel comfortable drinking raw egg. Um, you can cook the eggs, but I just prefer to make it this way. Nice, simple, and the flavor is still awesome. So, we will be 
um, blending, I did decide to add the rest of our sweetened condensed milk and I did add another teaspoon of rum extract. Once we get this all blended, I will be placing this in a separate container with about two to three cinnamon sticks. If you prefer not to put your cinnamon sticks um, into the entire container, you can just place one cinnamon stick into each glass that you decide to serve up. So guys, give this recipe a try. You will not be disappointed. If you like the recipe, give me a thumbs up. Please rate and subscribe guys and thanks for watching.